if you've heard of a page called Rate My Plate, this fucking podcast is <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Nothing beats coleslaw pops on a hot summer's day. So somebody's put coleslaw in like, you know, that where you can make your own ice lollies. Oh my God, what the fuck Homemade is Homemade chips and oxtail soup with bread and butter, a cup of cup of char on a cold day. That looks horrible, that. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to rate n- new pictures of your mum, but just <laughs> And I'm Josh. And this is the Broadcast Podcast. We renamed it because uh, we're still, we're, we're so far in the red that um, you, we can't see the black anymore. Uh, but yeah, we're back for another episode. How, how are you doing, old buddy? It's flipping early this morning. It's very, very. We're, we're pre-8 o'clock. Uh, we're having to go for a super early, early recording. I got, I got a large coffee from McDonald's and then I just put like an extra two scoops of Kenko fucking super... Special oh, did you? Blend in, yeah. Just, just to give me the energy to get through. I think the coffee from McDonald's is honking. That, that one really was. I used to really like it because I thought it had something. Uh, I was un- under the impression, a bit of a conspiracy theory, that it had something in it, yeah. which is not exactly what you'd call kosher because it was really addictive. And it doesn't taste that bad despite being really cheap. But it's changed lately. So I think I wonder if they've been like sued or something uh, because that just tasted like it tasted more like tea than coffee. So I had to put like a bunch of. <laughs> actual instant coffee in. I, honestly, I may have said this before because doing these podcasts has turned into Groundhog Day, so we might be just repeating old stories or, or anecdotes, <laughs> but I do think that that tastes like, you know, back in pubs in olden days, it used to be like... Back in c- pubs? Like uh, cigarette trays. <laughs> and then like a barmaid would come and like pour water on the cigarette, like, you know, with all the... Uh, like that's, that's what I think that tastes like, you know, like buds of... It's, tabs yeah. tab ends and it's that's what that, I think McDonald's coffee tastes like yeah I, I, I kind of agree I, I understand <laughs> what you're saying I, I, it's mad that we're that old that we actually can remember what it was like to to tolerate people smoking and do you remember pubs. it George yeah vaguely I, honestly we used to go play like snooker at the snooker club and you couldn't see the other end of the table <laughs> and you used to come home every Friday night and your fucking eyes were stinging because of smoke in your eyes <laughs> do you know what I mean I got flashbacks when I was in the Vegas and there's yeah, a woman yeah. like smoking at the bar and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to eat this one. Like, how do people used to do this as like a normal thing? Isn't it great? Yeah, do you want to sleep? Do you want to see it in the smoking area or the non smoking area? Restaurants, yeah. As if yeah. smoke's just going to be like, well, we can't go in there. <laughs> but I'm not going that atmosphere. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, uh, throw it back. <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about? We start with a YouTube comment or is there any kind of preamble? Start with the YouTube comment. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. All right, we've got three comments on this episode. First one from Graham well, Ellis. Do you know his voice then? It's like a, like a, a radio voice from like a sex show. He's getting, well, he's practicing. He's, pra- <laughs> he's practicing because he's poached by like a proper podcast. <laughs> uh, first comment from Graham Ellis. The bloke who looks like Beard following McGregor about is called Josh. All successful people have a Josh. Ah, it's because we took the piss out. Well, I took the piss out. Anytime that video... Uh, lands online i reshare it as though you're with mcgregor at that time uh, yeah no it's, it's it's still not it's will never not be funny enough, <laughs> because the amount of people that think it's me is just why, why we should actually try and find out who it is and get him on i don't know like i i searched i searched like josh conor mcgregor and i couldn't find Nothing. like i'm sure somebody told me that he's like uh you i don't know if he works at that you know that bar that you've been to or pub or whatever you know mcgregor's got oh, a bar right. uh, and i think he's like gin. yeah i think he's like a like a cocktail maker or something i don't know George, you do fuck all anyway. Like when we're, when we're chatting away, just have a quick Google. <laughs> just have a quick little Google you, search. You remember back, people might not remember, but back in the day, Gaz, I forget his name, but Gaz used to have a, a, a friend, like his best friend, and he paid him to be his best mate. Maybe it's like that. <laughs> it's, it's like Snoop Dogg pays somebody like 60 grand a year to roll his joints. That's a job, isn't it? it? It's like when like celebrities have like full-time barbers, like constantly. There's, yeah. a, there's, there's a, um, That's a, bit much, a comedian it? called Tom Segura and he's got a full-time barber. He's bald. <laughs> I shit you not. That's, so that is literally the easiest job in the world. <laughs> Weird. Nah, I can't find him anywhere either. <laughs> all 30 all. seconds on 30 Google. 30 seconds to try. Well done, Josh. Uh, your yeah. employee of the month. Yeah. Next comment <laughs> from Sarah Watson. Question for you guys. If you've seen When Harry Met Sally, then this will be familiar to you as it's the topic they discuss on a road trip. Can straight men and women ever be friends or does sex always get in the way? I didn't know we were doing that agony and stuff. From. I don't know, that's deep, that one. I would say, um, if you're mature enough, you have know, straight men and women. It depends if, if you're attracted to each other, then no. Uh, it's very hard to be friends, I think. But um, if, you, if, you, if, if you are a straight... I, I have plenty of f- uh, friends that are women that I'm f- just friends with. I think un- unless you, you, you're a sex addict, what do they call it? Uh, uh, 
Nymph. You, yeah, nymph, if you're nymphomaniac, I don't know, but like if you're a normal person and you're well adjusted, then there's no reason you can't be friends with somebody just because of the opposite sex or because even if you're attracted to them, I guess. Like if you're, if you're re- a reasonable person. Well, yeah, you person. can be reasonable in it. Yeah, but I think it would definitely help if you're not attracted to him. That would help, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, yeah, so it would I'm, help. I'm, I'm, I, 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 but it depends on like, like your, your own commitments, I guess. Like are you, are you in a relationship? But it depends on loads of things. If you're single, like if you're, you're both single. Maybe, like with your biannual erections, like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. That's it for Mrs. Beard out of there. <laughs> it, it, there are too many variables there, but I would say as a general principle, yes, of course, you, you can be friends with, uh, with the, the opposite sex. What about you, George? You're the youngest full of testosterone. You reckon you could be made of this? George yeah, is more can. mature than we are. Yeah, true. Yeah, he can. You just, yeah. It depends. Like, if you do fancy him already, then it's a bit, yeah. yeah if you then fancy you, him. you start, like, really snaking really. in and poaching in. If you fancy him a bit. But the whole dating game, I, what, what, why are you listening to me? It's changed this, since I was a kid. But everyone meets online now. Do people even meet in person anymore? I know, but it's all DMs that, and, like, dick so pics. wild. And, and last comment is from Gavin Neal two six six. Josh, I'm disappointed you missed a golden opportunity to get in a curdled semen reference when Adam was trying to think of something gross for Badlands to chug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind. I did some uh, preparation in uh, about I don't know ninety seconds ago and started looking through the comments uh, on the the last episode. I quite like this one from Kiko two five one. 400 views. Josh, the media man, just surely can do better than this. I guarantee. <laughs> spelt I don't even know how you spell guarantee that wrong a mukbang spelt wrong on Beard's Chanel with Beard and Josh talking about the podcast will bring more subs in than there is now and therefore more views um <laughs> what's his name again I, I can't spell one two three five I don't well, know well I um, can't spell one two three no, four Ke- five we've Ke- been on his channel twice and we're still here we know <laughs> with all Kiko, five of you listeners Kiko two five one it don't work like that buddy old pal but uh, thanks for the, the comment and the horrendous spelling <laughs> Up Somebody else commented, um, said, like, fuck you, Josh, at minute 48. It was one of the eaters that you said oh, you should have been above. Steve the rabbit. Yeah. I didn't know Steve listened. <laughs> Steve, I love your buddy. Your I bet you looked like a right twat in that. that you, you said, I, I should have been above fucking Steve the rabbit. I, I think I did. Like, I, yeah. I think I, yeah, it was a bit of a character. Well, not a character assassination, Is but that, I said, like, come on, I should be above Steve the rabbit. Was that the one where you went, fuck you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know why. Why? <laughs> We're only joking, Steve. Big, 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 <laughs> Fuck you too, big Josh. Fight. Yeah, I, I miss going back on the bus with you this year and listening to you and Jeff talk about uh, fucking pistons and other engineering stuff that I don't understand. Hopefully see you next year. Probably not on Nathan's because who knows I'm going back. But um, see you at one of the other contests. <laughs> right? That's it for the YouTube comments, yeah. Ah. Are you, uh, one of the questions that did pop up that I put into the notes is, um, have you joined uh, Threads yet? I don't know what thread I've heard of it, but I've, I'm certainly not going to. It's uh, Instagram, Twitter, I think, is the best description. Am I right in understanding that so, so I saw some tweet of somebody like angry emojis flipping out because they joined threads and you cannot delete threads without deleting your actual full yeah. Instagram account? And apparently, I think... That, uh, that'll teach you for getting involved in an, an, yet another fucking stupid social media Well, that's thingy. the scariest thing. Like, apparently, like, TikTok follows you and can access every part of your life, including your your home CCTV and I think threads, the terms and conditions are very similar where like you've signed up for it. You can't now delete your Instagram and you've given them access to your phone, your library, your photos, your videos, your bank balance, your bank mad account. Old, mad so, old world, isn't it? Like, but we all, we all committed to it. We all got shiny have you, have objects. You, has anyone actually here joined it? I've joined it. Yeah. I thought you might've done it. I have not and nor will I ever, but um, it's basically, I'll show I hope, you. I hope you're enjoying the experience. I'm not. Uh, even, even like the, the promo stuff to me looks like pointless it's literally not any different to Twitter to be honest and I never used Twitter before so yeah, Twitter's one of those I've started taking breaks from Twitter like not that I spend a lot of time on it but you know I'll just think right I'm not going on Twitter you for got four me days Twitter. you put me onto Twitter I used to, you know I used to like Twitter in the sense that you know it's, it's everything's kind of uh, very short because it's character limited right so, are you, it used to be right <laughs> yeah. and so you could have these short interactions with people fewer people use it and generally it used to be the case that more, certainly they interacted with me were kind of more like um, you felt like they were real yeah, they like loved genuine. what you did yeah, yeah, yeah. and they just wanted to ask you it was nice and short and punchy and a lot of the things you would see on there were kind of a little bit more highbrow I want to say and now it's just a fucking minefield man you, all the stuff you see is uh, I keep just seeing videos of like uh, Dead bodies pe- people and stuff. dying yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know like people, uh, shit about Andrew Tate I don't follow Andrew Tate for Christ's sake he's made a renaissance hasn't he? he's come back since he got out of jail he seems to be everywhere on Instagrams and stuff again 
Have you seen that uh, BBC documentary that they're bringing out about him? <laughs> Have I seen the oh, BBC no. documentary that they are bringing out about him? <laughs> it's <good. laughs> it's a trailer, a trailer of it. I think oh, you no, have no. you seen the <laughs> Even George, Jim was on edge today. Yeah, winding me up. It's so fucking early. Go on, what, what, what's, the, what's it? What's oh, the trailer don't fucking, don't matter, <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking matter, mate. Don't fucking matter. George, giving us the sass. Lad, it's awful, isn't it? I'm not, I can tell you this, I'm not going to watch it. So No, uh, seriously, though, what's the, what's the premise of it? Well, it's... <sighs> is it like a, a, an attack job or is it like yeah. a genuine thing? Yeah, full on attacking him, like oh, yeah. saying he's a rapist and he's a fucking Whoa. Can we bleep, do, we, do we bleep that word out? Well, it's on BBC, isn't it, so... They're saying it, not me. All oh, right, okay. But, yeah. Yeah, no, he, uh, it's a bit of a minefield, all his stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Although it's, Elon Musk seems to be like a bit of a uh, proponent of him. There's a surprise. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I just, I just, I, I'm really not interested in all of that kind of, you know, the, those people. Are, I, I, if I don't know why you, everyone knows you, then I've got no interest in you. You know, like if you've not given something to the world or you don't do something which makes me want to... Um, listen to you i could care less what you're saying man what, what especially if you're talking about your bugattis every fucking five minutes you know how much of a man i am i've got six bugattis <laughs> what about and elon musk versus uh zuckerberg are you down for that fight i saw you see the picture of zuckerberg yeah, the other yeah. day he looked fucking he's on, he's on the special sauce isn't he um with, with uh stylebender with uh israel adesanya and volkanovsky yeah oh yeah those two love those two um <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, I, well, you know how I feel about these stupid celebrity death, it's basically like real life celebrity death match, you remember that show? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I think if anything, it'll be quite entertaining to watch two people that have no um, history of doing MMA, as far as I'm aware, doing it. Uh, I, I don't know, whether, I would hope that the money's got charity, I imagine it's probably not, but. Um, I, I mean, I know I'm personally involved in a celebrity, like MMA fight promotion thing but even that i do quite i don't quite understand it so like from the standpoint of like paul's doing it for charity he came on the podcast yeah 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 but he earns a fantastic livid not being punched in the head yeah. so like to then do it at, in 40 plus get punched in the head because you, you can't just go in one night and be like right fingers crossed i don't get fucking sparkled and penciled and brain damaged for life or whatever you've got to do <laughs> six to 12 months of sparring <laughs> leading up to it which inevitably you're going to get punched in the head. Why? And if you're a billion, if you've got two billionaire robots. The money, yeah, but man, money is like you think it's when you, when, when, you've exceeded. when you've achieved what you wanted to achieve. It's like, well, what else is there? And then you so just what, do what, what was the, really briefly, what, does anyone know what the original beef was? Why, why do they have to, why, why does it come to fisticuffs? Did between they have some who? disagreement between Elon Musk and uh, Mark Zuckerberg? Probably because Zuckerberg brought out threads. <laughs> <laughs> so they had a fight about it. Is that the biggest high school thing you've ever heard? It might yeah, be you, so you brought right. out a platform that I don't like. Should we have a fight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, that's Are mad. they doing it for charity then? I have no idea, mate. I've, no. I know that uh, Dana White's like keen as mustard to try and like promote it. It can't the, be. The, I, the, how is that even? Because Zuckerberg looks like more like you. And Elon Musk is a large man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, they can't be the same way. He look, he's, he's got that kind of thickness to him, hasn't he? He might lose a load of weight. Mr. Yeah. Beast lost a load of weight, hasn't he? Have you seen him? He's looking yeah. pretty good, Nick. Have you seen the pictures? No, we talked about it, though, didn't we? seen the tweet. We, we talked about this tweet where he said that it's hard to get in shape. Or yeah, but now he's, like, done a sort of 12 month where he's, like, actually got some shape about him now. So he's done, he's been doing well. Have well you seen, apparently, Tyson Fury's fighting Francis Ngannou? <laughs> yes, that, that does look legit, that. <clears throat> That's going to happen. Um, What's your thoughts on that? I'm going to probably put a £1,000 on... Uh, a thousand quid? Tyson Fury. Are you That's sure, bro? Are you sure, we're broke? That's how confident Fighting I am. Fighting in boxing. Yeah. yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? The best heavyweight boxer that's ever walked the planet. I'm still doing about, lad. Come on. Tyson Fury? Yeah. Did you, just a range, you, you just... Bah, 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 it'll, it'll, just out, it'll literally outbox him. The man moves not like a heavyweight... Look, I I'm not aligning. I don't. I'm a bit of a boxing casual, but I'm certainly not aligning myself with that nonsense. Uh, what? So, you know, a man called Muhammad Ali. I think it was around a few years yeah. ago. I remember. I don't. I don't remember him dodging many fights either. <laughs> yeah, but that's politics so, now, isn't it? Sorry, Tyson Fury fans. Um, yeah, but it, whatever. I don't. I'm, I don't really follow boxing and fighting and stuff. Or the man who he's named after. Not Tyson. Yeah. Mm. Mike, Michael Tyson, of course. Yeah, we mentioned him a few times on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's Tyson. the uh, how's the house hunting going? It's going very. Are you trying to put me in a bad mood? <laughs> it's, going, it's going very. I badly. think this could be the one where one of the three of us is going to walk out before the end of the recording. 
<laughs> what then? You, you, Which would never normally be me, but I'm so fucking pent up today. Like I jo- just, George would love that though. He'd call it "Man Storms Off the Podcast" or something like. <laughs> didn't uh, Jack Bates Sappy I did that once? Some oh, that, yeah, that, that pry face did it as a prank, didn't they? Oh, it was a prank. Oh, it wasn't real. Yeah. Okay. Um, prank. Yeah. Um, it's not going well, mate. No, I've not found myself a new uh, a new house and one that we went to see actually a, a months ago now. Um, it was still still up till about two days ago. I said to Lindsay, I was like, let's just go buy that. You know, I liked it. I didn't think it wasn't perfect, but let's go buy it. So I looked at it yesterday. I was like, let's have another look at it. It's gone. It's not there anymore. <laughs> so, oh. um, so I don't know if it's been sold or taken down or what, but uh, yeah. Uh, so we're not moving right now. Um, I keep looking at houses on the Isle of Man. <laughs> <laughs> Beneficial tax treatment. Um and uh, you, you know, there's not many people that live there. It looks, it's a bit grim. But um, and the problem is the TT circus comes around. I could probably well, once just, a year. You could yeah, go I, to America. I'd go away when that's on. Yeah, true. I could fly in for the podcast to into Leeds Bradford once a week. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, it's not going well, mate. Thanks for asking that. That's all right. Well, you went to look at one this week, though, right? How would that mm-hmm. look? Have we got some chanting builders knocking about? No, not. It didn't look well. It was basically. I, well, I said to you before we got started here. It's, it's, it was basically like one of those. Uh, but Mrs. Beard always tells me, right, when I go in, because I hate when, you know, the estate agents, they try and, they're always really positive, right, naturally, because they're on commission to try and sell the house. Yeah. And generally, I just, um, I, I, I don't like to just go along with that and be like, oh, yeah, that fireplace is lovely. If yeah. I disagree, I'll be honest and say I disagree, right, but Mrs. Beard doesn't like that because I think she finds it quite embarrassing, which is fair enough. So this time I said I will be perfectly silent, almost as if I'm a, uh, I, I, I am mute, right? <laughs> So I, t- I was silent the whole time. I was well behaved, you know, and Mrs. Beard's like, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. All the while thinking, oh, this is hideous. Um, <laughs> and then we got to the conservatory, right? Which uh, the way that, obviously when they photograph things, it's supposed to make it look appealing. But I think it's kind of a bad thing that they make, that, you know, it's it, it's disingenuous, right? It, if it make they make it look like it doesn't actually really look. Yeah. So I get that and she says, oh, yeah, this room is really nice, don't you think? Mrs. Beard says, yeah, and I'm starting to snap and I'm like... No, I disagree. <laughs> um, but I, I was ready to move on after that. So, you know, I disagree. She said, uh, oh, can I ask you why? I said, well, uh, you yeah, well, a number, a number of things I don't like about the house. First of all, I can touch the next house. And on the pictures, it doesn't look like I can touch it. And secondarily, it reminds me of, uh, you know, like a, I'm like jumping up and down. Like it reminds me of a building I used to do geography when I was 12. It's like a prefabricated hut and they want a million quid for it. I was like, that's got to be, is that a typo or something? <laughs> And that, that was the point at which, you know, we quickly left. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not going to well. What was the car ride home like? Was was Lindsay all right? Or? She was just laughing this time. We said, well, you know, I'm, I'm never rude to people, but like, if you can ask me my opinion, there's no point in me being dishonest about it. No. So I, you know, I, I was just thinking like, oh my, what? Like somebody's just got a bit of land. They've put a flipping shed in it, basically like a two-tiered holiday home, and they want a million pounds for it. Yeah, the house price is it. Something, I, 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 like, I think something's got to give soon. Because, like, obviously, interest rates just keep rising. <laughs> Inflation also keeps rising. Yeah. It's like, what what, what goes first? 8, 8% mortgage. See, like, the amount of debt that you get from a from a house now is crazy. Yeah. It's it's obscene. Like, why, I, that, that, that half, half of me just thinks, like... Stay where you are. Just, just, I might just start renting a house. I might just yeah, sell yeah. my house and I'll start renting one. Yeah. Because there's, there's, there's almost no difference in terms of like long-term financial yeah. gain versus potential loss of doing it. So, uh, yeah, that was a bit of an adult conversation on the podcast. Should we get, get Damien like, talks money back? I, like, I love oh. to have him back. Do you think he'd come back for an episode too? 100%, yeah. Once yeah. his face is healed. Yeah, he's, it, it, yeah, people did point out to us, by the way. So after, the episode, after we filmed the episode with him, he ended up in Manchester on a night out to watch the Man City play football. Yeah. Champions League final. Yeah, it was Champions League right, final. Okay, right? yeah. And uh, got sucker punched. Brutal. Like, he, he put a video out afterwards and, like, it was awful, but he'd cut his face and maybe, like, dislocate his eyes. Some, there was some yeah. mad shit that happened. Uh, but luckily, he's healed and he's going through the process of... I think he's more mentally scared than now physically. Like, that must have been awful to get... Would be like, that's what, how cowardly is that to punch... It's bad enough to punch somebody in general, but, like, when they can't see you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fucking brutal. Uh, but... I think they got the guy, though, didn't they? Yeah, that, the, the, oh, the, story, the story was that everyone around kind of oh, clocked him, right. did it? Yeah, and yeah. then jumped on him, which kind of gives you that shred of belief that maybe humanity is yeah. actually not terrible after all. And people got him in the police of Soybean. Hopefully a lot of trouble now. 
in in jail, in not locked up. Yeah, no, it's rough that. But luckily, he has recovered. He's been putting some videos back out. Um, he's just got a nice studly scar now, hasn't he? Like a, a nice, you know, chicks dig scars. So he's he, so he's, he's got a nice his podcast. Scar. Is fucking crushing it as well, by the way. His so podcast like, is crushing yeah, it. So like, does he need another host? <laughs> they mean to need a co-host. <laughs> there was a picture yesterday that went out, and he's there with his co-host and Deborah Meaden, you know, from Dragons Den. Oh, Can I saw that. that. I thought it was a Photoshop thing. Is that a real picture? That's <laughs> actually a picture. But him and his <laughs> mate. Who he does it with? So he was big, wasn't he? Like he must have been six three. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's there having a picture with uh, T, who's like must be six five, and this Deborah Meaden. So it's literally like two dudes, like this. and then like a little head just popping into frame. <laughs> so having got a pose with your grandma. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not that much taller than my grandma. <laughs> But I'm, yeah. gl- I'm, gl- I'm really glad he's doing well because he's a super nice, super nice guy. And uh, he, still, he still chats to me all the time on Instagram and whatnot. Does he? Yeah, he's, yeah. Right. he's a good lad. Um, what else is on the agenda? We've got loads of stuff. We've actually done a lot of notes here today. Um, yeah. Oh, so one of my pals is an avid listener who I go to the gym with. And he, uh, have you got the voice note on your phone? Are you going to play it? Oh, God. Uh, did you happen? send it to me? Yeah, I put it in, the, in our chat, you know, like the production chat. Yeah, give me a minute. The secret non-beard chat where I can't go in there and veto all the yeah. ideas. So, like, we've got the the chat that Mike's in, um, which, to be fair, that's, like, just general drivel and then trying to go back through the notes and find stuff. You, that... talk, you talk about Mike as if people fucking know who he is. <laughs> he was around for, like, the first four episodes. <laughs> Nobody knows who he is. He listened yesterday, because we, obviously we called him out last week. We've got to keep him, said, keep him alive. Class, lads. Class meet. Really enjoyed that part where you talked about spunk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my mate Elliot, um, he's, he put, a, he sent me a voice note, and he's like, "I'd really like this to be discussed in uh, <laughs> on the podcast." And it is about um, using a new barber. Have you got the, the? Have you got it? Yeah, I think so. This one. So since we moved, I've been traveling back to Batley and trying to do it like where I can midweek to my old barber in Batley and. They've been the best barber I've had, but it's just not convenient anymore. And there's one like 200 yards from from my house. So I'm just wondering, do I give that one a try? <laughs> what and we... if it don't work out with the new guy, go back to my old guy. But then the problem is, he's going to know that I've been somewhere else in between. So I'm not entirely sure what to do. <laughs> really, I could do with... Um, this answering on Breaking Bread <laughs> on Agony Adam. Oh yeah, Agony Adam. I forgot that's what it was. All right, mate. Is that where we are now? Um, I don't think that's that big a big big of a deal. I think that if you're looking for if you don't want to hurt your original barber's feelings by going to the new barber, <laughs> then you could just lie and say you were away, uh, you know, on holiday and you felt like getting a trim or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. Like you, has he got a, a wife or girlfriend or anything? Yeah, yeah. Got a wife. Girl, girlfriend wanted me to look smart for the l- little restaurant uh, trip we had a while I was away or whatever. And most barbers in my experience, like if I if I went to my barber, Kieran, and said, look, mate, I've had it trimmed. I'd, I'd, I'd never really get my hair cut, but I get, I've had my beard trimmed somewhere else. He wouldn't stress out because he'd know I'd be there like, if I, if I actually came back. So if I were you, I'd try out the new place. What's the worst? The only thing about that though is like, I hate going, I would never go to a, like I'd follow my barber around now to like does if you if you move to Sheffield I'll be going to Sheffield Whoa, to get my haircut just eh? because he knows what I want yeah. he knows exactly the amount of small talk that I'm 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 after yeah, you're a weird dude though. right so I'm I'm just I'm in there I know him right I don't have to say oh, look give me this <laughs> give me that. this week <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me the, yeah he's totally all right with all that and uh, yeah he's he's gonna have decent music on although last time I think he had something weird on like. Uh, Leanne Rhymes or some shit. Maybe it's going through something. He's normally got a bit of heavy rock on or something. So, I, and he's got, he's always burning incense. Fucking love that guy. I'd probably just hang out there. Like, if you know, if I was made redundant or whatever, I just asked him if he wanted to sweep the hair up for free. Um, so, yeah, but I, I get the, the uh, apprehension. So, basically, you would but, never use anybody else. So yeah. Clearly, but, but, Elliot, your barber is not delivering the service that Adam's getting. I've, I, I remember, I think I were seeing a wise man, a wise man once said, always cheat on your missus, never cheat on your barber. So if that's any any sort of useful advice to any you, you people out there. Don't, don't, don't listen to that, man. That's, that's, that's the worst advice I've ever heard in my life. But yeah, I mean, try out the new guy. Even if just say, look, helping local businesses, give him, just let him know. I'd go in there and be like, listen, mate, I've got this barber, really happy with him, but this is your audition. If this goes well, maybe there's a little bit of a tip in it for you. And uh, this is your shot. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you remember I came in and my barber 
from Halifax had proper done a bad, bad job. Yeah. I wear my hat and you're like, take, take it off, take it off. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. <laughs> Took it yeah. off and you gave me afternoon off to go get my hair cut with your barber. <laughs> and now I just go to him. <laughs> Yeah, but then like this is a thing like this is a problem with like referring friends to stuff in it because like I re- I referred George to go use my barber and then it, then George being a young man that don't give a fuck about a young business owner <laughs> he books like Saturday prime time he'll book Saturday mornings with Alex and then just fucking not turn up so then I've got to go oh Georgey boy and then Alex is like <laughs> George didn't turn up for his and I'm like fuck sake, I should just fucking kept my barber to myself. And not talk, look at that, look at this. He understands. That's 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 something. I said charge the cunt double. I said pay him again. Like make, make him pay I, I twice. Offer when, when I go in the next time, I offer him. That. It's bad that. I offer him the money. <laughs> and he don't take it. He just fucking choose my ear off about it. He's like, Josh, I'm going to give you a bad cut of this. Let's get the word with Josh. Oops. <laughs> yeah. um, so hopefully that advice, if anybody's got any more advice, can we add the, the comment section below and I'll, I'll, we'll send Elliot to go read that. But I think that was pretty comprehensive for an agony, Adam. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we've done a service there? That's pretty good, yeah. We gave some good advice there. Flash that out as much as we can. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, George, you've, you've actually got a plan for us today, haven't you? You've got, um, you've been doing a bit of research. Can you uh, elaborate on the research <laughs> that you've done for what, what the main t- talking point is? Somewhat. So if you've heard of a page called Rate My Plate, people <laughs> post their um, very dodgy looking teas, dinners in there. And uh, yeah, some of them are a bit shocking. So There's a similar one on Instagram that's just popped up called School of Scran. Have you seen it? <laughs> 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 you walked into that one. Yeah. You should have told that to Paul Smith. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, go ahead, so Josh. Uh, what's the, what's the, so, oh, by the way, Rate My Plate is run by the Rate My Takeaway boys. Yeah. By, the, know, by his now you know. cronies, his crew. Bound to be high quality content then. I get the feeling this is going to be uh, one of those perhaps not that enjoyable for audio listeners, but uh, we'll try. I'll try and describe it as best I can. Um, yeah, so I was thinking we could rate this on presentation how you think it will taste and how you would improve it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking podcast is shit, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think this will be a good one. I think, uh, I think sorry, sorry, Adam, what was your idea? <laughs> what did you want to do? I think by the end of it, this will be a good I one. I wanted to rate n- new pictures of your mum, but just for the Are we allowed to keep that in? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> it's my fucking podcast, I'm saying. <laughs> right, we're going right. for the first one. Yeah, first one. Spaghetti bolognese. Is it spaghetti bolognese? <laughs> so is it like ravioli? Is that a translation? Oh, so they spelled it wrong and then Instagram <laughs> translated it to the right spelling. So um, describe what you see there, Adam. Uh, I'm like, not, to be fair, that's a pretty good fucking... I'm not seeing spaghetti bolognese. I'm seeing chips. I'm seeing like ravioli or pasta. Or something. Yeah, some, uh, some type of pasta with grated cheese on top, some fairly anemic looking chips and some... Uh, buttered slices of bread. Kitchen looks quite nice. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's going to taste that bad. I think the worst part about that is the unmelted grated yeah. cheese on top. <laughs> that's going to, the texture, that's going to be rancid, man. When If you're spooning that all together, unless you're eating it like me, like <laughs> chips and then the cheese and then the uh, the pasta. Unless, if you, unless they're making a butty out of it. Oof, I mean, even then that's going to be... Is that the purpose of the bread? That is a heavy carbohydrate meal, that, if yeah. ever you've seen one. It's, like, it's over half your daily calories, isn't it, for most normal people? Um, but yeah, that's going to taste horrible when you get the cold cheese with the pasta. I think that's that's not going to taste what, are, we, are we giving it like a rating out of 10? Or a rating out of 5 for out presentation? Five. I think they've tried, look, they've, they've, they've sectioned it off. For, for it looks like it's, it shows they're sitting in prison. It's like a prison, <laughs> it's on a prison tray. Uh, I'm getting, uh, we got a, a very quick tangent yeah, there. Yeah. I got a message the other day from a, oh, which, a prison in Nottingham. <laughs> Guy says, um, I, you know, it explains who he is. I, I run the media. I had media, media managers in prison, but um, I run the media at Her Majesty's prison down in Nottingham. And uh, we have this TV service where um, the inmates, uh, they're only allowed to watch certain things, apparently. Apparently it's not true. You know, when you see in the sun that they've got flipping... Xbox, Sky, Sky and Xbox and limits of what they can watch, but we, we're starting an on-demand service for them, but we can't kind of pay for things and we can't always, we're not, they're not allowed to access the internet for infinity amount of time, right? Yeah. So we're downloading things onto like a media player and he said, I'm just wondering if you would mind if I could use some of your videos for the <laughs> lads to watch in their cells. Uh, 
So that's a bit of an odd request. I said, yeah, I said, uh, uh, provided you're not making money from it, mate, you can, yeah, I'm a big believer in rehabilitation and all that, you know, so yeah, <laughs> fair, fair cop. But I thought, what a weird, why would they want to watch that? It's probably going to make oh, them- Oh, mate, I can't, I can't wait till one of them prisoners gets released and <laughs> yeah. they're obsessed with you. And rocks up <laughs> here. I've just, spent nine, I've just spent nine years watching this little hairy fella. <laughs> And week in, week out, and he's knocking on your door in cast. Hi, Adam. I've just been watching you in Nottingham for nine years. That's not where I live. That's not where I live. <laughs> I'm giving that three out of ten for presentation. I That's reckon they're going to do like a, they'll do a prison drinking game where every time you say delicious, they'll have some hooch from under the bunk and they'll have a shot of hooch. You'll be, the, watching, you'll be every time he says, let's get it. Yeah, yeah. They have to like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm giving that a three out of ten for presentation. I'm going to give that a three out of ten. I think it's a fair effort. I think they've tried. What? Three out of ten is a fair effort. <laughs> three Those out of five. Two statements Sorry, are out of, five, out of five. Three out of five. Oh, it's, oh right. In that case, I'm giving it one point five oh. out of five. Okay, George. Yeah, I'd go a two. Two. Maybe. Why did you miss the trick here? There's like forty-four comments on that. We should read the comments. I bet they're <laughs> hilarious. Next one. What in black God's pudding name? and brie with sausage, eggs. <laughs> And sweet potato fries. <laughs> I can't even look at that, man. <laughs> Those are fucking sausages. <laughs> yeah. They're about the same colour as my skin. How are they? <laughs> well, that, the, the, the poor, poor boy needs to, he needs to up the saturation on this Instagram post. <laughs> yeah. Just wang the saturation up to 100. <laughs> look, at the, look at the little coffee mat there. Is that David Bowie? It's David Bowie, yeah. What's, uh, what's this? This is black pudding with brie on it. Ugh. That's pretty artsy, to be fair. I mean, the problem that would probably look a hell of a lot nicer if, like, if you just bumped the saturation. But it, as it looks there, it looks like shot in log. It looks, <laughs> it looks like on, it's, in, inedible. It's the most beige meal. It's got no colour to it, man. The mushrooms are awful. It's those those kind of boiled, horrible button mushrooms as well. Um, Need some moisture on that, doesn't it? Yeah, looks proper. I dry. feel like it's that's gonna. T well, what we'll say is that's gonna taste nice, and it looks, I think. Um, but the presentation's heinous. It, that's one out of five. <laughs> Uh, but I think it might taste maybe more like a 3.5 out of 5. Mind, but I don't mind a bit of brie and black pudding, of course, I like. Not touching the mushrooms, but... Uh, <laughs> no shit. And those are those like really horrible like 5 piece sausages, but uh, the rest might be all right. How would you actually improve the plate minus the saturation of the photo? Like, how would you actually improve that as a meal? Just add a bit of sauce or something it to it. It needs beans, doesn't it? Needs it? It's almost yeah, like yeah. a, a, like a, a all-day breakfast. An easy way to make that look way more artsy and appealing is you get a little bit of a like a really colorful sauce and just you fling it over it like it's <laughs> <laughs> what, kind, what kind of sauce josh curdled semen <laughs> sweet chili sauce and that yeah it's missing they're all missing that little garnish of greenery like that's what they're missing in it <laughs> Little. I can't believe I've gone through his coffee already. That's how stressful this podcast is. No, we've been going for like 45 minutes. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is going to my dad's letter, saves him cooking. <laughs> what even is that? I, I can see sprouts and I can see potatoes and carrots. Yeah. I think that's boiled chicken. That's chicken, yeah. That's oh, like one of those really depressing bodybuilder yeah, bodybuild meal preps. Although, of course, they'd never have uh, white potatoes because for some reason bodybuilders think white potatoes are the devil. But... um. That, that, that's awful. That's not even a one out of five. That's minus five. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> that's oh all he's in there. Nothing beats <laughs> coleslaw pops on a hot <laughs> summer's day. So somebody's put coleslaw in, like you know that where you can make your own ice lollies <laughs> <laughs> and frozen it. Ice lolly mold, uh. and they put coleslaw in it and frozen it. <laughs> oh, that's gonna taste. And you know what? Like I'm really open to trying new things and things that are a bit weird, and I would try that. But I can't, I know what coleslaw tastes like and I, I can't imagine it being frozen, it being that. Like what, you're going to lick it and be like, mm, yeah, I can really taste the the slowiness of it. It's going to taste horrible. Maybe we should make some for the next they, podcast. They, they look cool though. I think they look pretty. They do kind of look cool. I give them like a four out of, if you're going to make a coleslaw lollipop, it could not look to me much more appealing than those. That's a professional the shot like that, isn't it? Somebody's gone, yeah. somebody's uh, done their own work. They've not done that on the old iPhone, have they? That's a macro, I reckon. Might even be uh, generative AI. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you know about that photograph? Like, there's some kind of photograph competition the other day that they have a yearly. And one of the photos was disqualified because the four judges said it was AI, but it actually wasn't. Really? Yeah, there's a photograph of a guy with uh, two mannequins, I think which looked, they were supposed to look almost real, but not quite. And his mum, I think, had taken the photograph. So I thought it was kind of sad that, that his mum's taken, she's probably, I don't think she was a professional photographer. I think she said 
I watched a bit of it on the news last night for some reason, and I think she said, oh, I just thought it was a cool, doing like an art gallery. I thought it was yeah. a cool, it looked cool, so I took a picture of it. And it got entered into these awards, and they disqualified it, not because it wasn't a good photograph, but because they thought the two people behind him were AI, but they weren't. That, I think that's going to be the, like the hardest thing now, because obviously all thumbnails are being AI'd and, uh, you know, on YouTube. And uh, McKinnon put a video out uh, on, on Instagram, and it was like a little hut in Iceland, and it was like pretty dreary looking hut. And he'd, thought he'd use that generative AI to um, change the windows so that it was like lit inside. So, and so it looked nice, the bench outside, a little river. The mountains were like, there weren't any mountains, it was just a gray sky, then he put mountains in the background. So it like, he just started like pulling layers off it until eventually you just see this like shit photo that it was to the begin with, which is absolutely terrifying. So obviously you could just take a picture on your, your iPhone now and make an, an epic photo, just choose like whatever comes to mind. Um, yeah, it's pretty scary, I think. Uh, that's bad, man. I felt bad the other day because I, I, uh, I had to use a stock drone uh, shot for one of the videos in New England, but it didn't make sense because it, it was a cloud. It cut to a day where it's, it wasn't an overcast day, but it yeah. had, there were clouds in the sky and this drone shot was like completely... A, oh, you showed me the one where you were outside the hut. No, no, it wasn't right, that okay, one. Okay, right. Um, I should have done it in that one, but I didn't. <laughs> but like, no, the, so I, I put those, you know, the, the generator on uh, Final Cut Pro where you can add clouds yeah. and you can tweak them and it looks totally believable. But I thought, I'm like, oh, sh- why am I doing this? You know, like, <laughs> It's interesting that McKinnon did that video because I saw his, his good mate, Matty Hapoya, did what sounds like basically the same thing, but like he put, put he said how to make your YouTube studio look cool. And it like, pan, it zoomed, kind of zoomed out from where he was. And he had like, what was clearly a fake motorbike in the corner of the room. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a bit weird, but all right. Yeah, it's terrifying. The robots are gonna take over. All right, next plate from uh, Kelly Blakely. Uh, homemade chicken curry. That looks like the dog's thrown up on rice, doesn't it? I reckon that tastes good though. I'm looking at that and I'm not thinking I don't want to eat it. No, I'm thinking that looks like if Mrs. Beard made a curry, it's looking like that and I'd still scoff it. But again, it makes no sense. You've got potatoes in your curry on top of your rice and then some... I've... The problem with that is just lacking a bit of greenery like the last one. You put a bit of herbs, just put some herbs in there and that's going to look all right, I reckon. Problem with that is the presentation. It's just dumped on top of the rice. So you could, can it, you need to mound the rice around it a little bit, I reckon. <laughs> but that's not the one that's probably the best one that's the one I want to eat most of the ones we've seen so far I'm looking at that though and I'm thinking like where's the chicken do you know what I mean I think there's like, little, what, what is what it all just looks like potatoes dollops of uh, <laughs> it's like ball of ch- chicken balls maybe I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. reformed chicken min- oh my god what the fuck homemade is that homemade chips and oxtail soup with bread and butter a cup of cup of char on a cold day Fuck almighty. That's why people take the piss out of British food, you know, pictures like that. (laughs) I'm not touching that. Chips in soup (laughs) with bread. That's gopping that. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you were were doing that, um, what's the stuff that they have in Canada? Like soggy chips are the worst, man. I I can't deal with that. That must be minging. That looks horrible, that. (laughs) Next. (gasps) Oh, Sheppy pie and veggies. <laughs> this is, you know, it feels like this feels like going around to Lindsay's mum's house for dinner. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're trying to be like artsy and fancy, and basically it's just slop on a plate that looks almost inedible. That does look like prison slop. That I'm not touching. So that. sorry for the audio listeners. We've got a bowl with shepherd's pie in it, peas and uh, boiled carrots, and then it's filled to the brim of the bowl with gravy, <laughs> which has basically made it into a stew. And it's got, from what I'm seeing, that it's got a slightly kind of gelatinous looking skin on it so it's that it's ready made gravy that's got a bit yeah. cold <laughs> it's proper swimming is that in it yeah white Fucking sauce hell. fish cod pie with prawns <laughs> 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 what's with the peas just thrown on there one like two florets of broccoli like someone's had a good time on that plate yeah it does look oh like curdles, george come curdles, on now yeah. it looks wrong though yeah this this is not as descriptive as <laughs> I think the audio the listeners were. I, thought, I didn't know how many there were. So I'm trying know. to be a little is there, bit How many spare. is there? More? There's a. I think there's one or two more. One more. Right now we're talking. This 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 isn't bad. We can dwell on this for a bit because he's made some. <laughs> he or she has made some effort here. Um, crinkle cut chips, nice. So you're not quite gone to to the highly posh levels of uh, piggy time yet side. again. But he's crinkle cut them. That looks like gammon to me. Some sort of some, gammon. Ham. Is that chicken? That's slow, that mate. That's slow. It's hard to see from here. Um, yeah. Some kind of mixed peas and corn thing. What the fuck is this? It's got to be mushrooms, hasn't it? Look. Yeah, it's mushroom. Tomatoes that have been raw. Oh, you're right. No, oh, mushrooms and onions. Mate, this looks like a nice meal. It's not bad, actually. I mean, it, again, it's, it's suffering because the... 
This is clearly it looks like a really harsh downlight on it. Just <laughs> bringing out a lot of the texture of the phone. See an ambit flash on her iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not. That's not terrible. I give that maybe like it. I give that two point eight out of five. I'd eat that. I'd eat that. T two point eight out of five. Right. That, that was the last one. Though. I mean, that, right. that does look minging though. To be fair, like yeah. that's not Honking. something. That's not something I want in my uh, in my life. You, I'm the wrong person to ask because I'm, I'm quite easy to please. I'd George is a, an aspiring uh, chef. Yeah. Have you seen his, he's got, I genuinely, like without taking the piss, he's got a new Instagram called School of Scram. That's why I joked by at the beginning. I Where, wonder what that was. I was kind of laughing along like, yeah. As if I, I was yes. thinking, like, are they telling a joke that I should get? Um, no, I didn't know. That's the name of it, George. That's a cool name, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I wanted, yeah, well done. I wanted only Scrams, but it's taken. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, that that would have been a class yeah. name, that. But, nah, I, like, I prefer School of Scram. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's an, an Instagram account called School of Cock? Just thinking, because that just got me thinking, like, you know, the movie School of Rock. Mm. Why, why do you look it up? I, I kind of don't want to look it up, probably. Just <laughs> a quick search. I'll I'll be like, it. If that, I will. somebody needs to buy that domain if they've not already. What's School could, of Cock? Yeah, because it's, it's, be, it's got to be some kind of. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know why I said it out loud. That's, I imagine Cock's a, not allowed as a School of Cock. Certainly not allowed as a, a, as a domain name, though. You could buy that. School of Cock.com. post chicken photos. Uh-huh. There's no accounts called School of Cock. You could be in here, mate. Get it? Oh, there is School of Cock there. But is it ch- that it is better if it's chickens or like George? George like, I mean, you, like I hate this when people have got the handles but then don't use the account. Uh, you, you need to be posting, yeah, some like really elite kind of chicken pictures on there. <laughs> that would be <laughs> elite ace. chicken pictures. Yeah. I, speaking of which, a fr- friend of mine, uh, Brandon Clark, who I've done a couple of videos with, uh, he was asking my advice about what lenses to buy last night, and then. Um, he said, be right <laughs> I don't know if I could give you the picture, but he, he said, uh, be right back. Uh, I'm just going to just need to go choke the chicken, which of course is a euphemism. <laughs> but he actually raised his chickens, right? And he sent me a picture. He wasn't actually choking. He just had his hand very softly around the neck of a chicken. But that was his idea of a joke. And it did have me cruise for about like five <laughs> minutes. So I was like, I just need to choke it. Like, the fact that he said that I a ch- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But then it was actually a picture of a chicken, which he raises. <laughs> We got a breaking beard this week? Yeah, man. Breaking beard! <laughs> he, I think he's, is he, isn't he one away from the forfeit? Uh, I think if you lose this one, you have one more chance. Oof. And then it's forfeit time. Are you just making that up? No, no. no I, I saw the last one. You were, you were, you were either one or you, two away were, from the, the, you know, the yeah. fight, the little fire thingy. Right. Which, obviously. So if the, the, if the, you lose this, you're on the last step. And then you. Next week, if you get it, how far away is he then? Oh, right in the middle. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm safe haven, man. Center. Right. So this one's a bit different. So, um, the questions are: you have to decide which fact about this famous person is not true. Uh, a bit like, uh, I, would I lie to you? Well, yeah, I was gonna put it in that episode, but we, we should do an episode like that. Do we, we, had we did it, before? didn't we? No. No, it was an idea. We were going to do we, it. That was my idea. Yeah, yeah. Put that in my column. Just I thought it was Mike. I thought Mike's idea. I thought it was Mike's idea. Well, if it were Mike's idea, we'd forgotten it and I just remembered it, which, <laughs> which, which means it's now my idea. Um, so who wants to go first? I'll go first. Josh went first last time. Plus okay. he's drinking some of his egg whites. So which one is not true about Bill Gates? Uh, he got a cream pie smashed in his face while walking in Belgium. He ate over $1,100 of sushi in a single meal in Japan. He dropped out of Harvard or he got caught hacking computers of a major company at the age of 15. So, which is not true. So the 1,100 sushi, the cream pie smashed in his face in Belgium, dropping out of Harvard, caught hacking computers at 15. I'm between the last two, you know, but I'm going to say, I think the third one's a red herring. I think he maybe never went to Harvard. So I'm going to say the third one is not true, dropping out of Harvard. That is actually true. Um, it's the second one, the sushi one, that is not true. Oh, I suppose. I mean, I was thinking he went to maybe like a mega expensive restaurant because he doesn't look like he he could eat much. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's just like really expensive sushi. But That's all right, I so, lose. Josh, this one for you. Which is not true about Jeff Bezos? Bezos. Uh, he first launched Amazon to sell appliances, but then shifted to books. Uh, while still married, he sent pics of his manhood to his mistress. As a toddler, he dismantled his crib with a screwdriver. He cooked up French fries at McDonald's. 
Which one is not true? Tough one, hasn't it? He cooked French fries at McDonald's. Just says he cooked up French fries at McDonald's. Seems needlessly specific. This is off it? a website. Is this? Uh, <laughs> no I've, shit. Not, I've not written this. These aren't my yeah. words. Uh, Amazon. So did Amazon want to, were appliances then books? Launched Amazon to sell appliances, but then shifted to books. I feel like it initially was for books. I like it, that, it does seem like that could be true. I think the French fries would just seem most random. What are you going for? The French fries one. So you're saying that one's not true? Yeah. No, it's actually true. Um, it's the, the false one is he first launched Amazon to sell appliances, but then shifted to books. Fuck. So he books. did send a, in, in, a nudie pic to, to his mistress? Yeah, apparently so. What a scumbag. Prime day. A lot of that going around. Prime dick. Did you buy anything on Prime Day? No. I didn't like actively, but I wanted to buy, because I fucked up a couple of, the, you know, the audio on some of the videos in New England. So I bought a, uh, I don't know, some, some thingy, right? Which is basically like a wireless lav mic, but it's like a button. So it doesn't look like a mic. All right. Um, so I bought it and as I was buying it, realized it was Prime Day. So I got like 25% off. I I went to do it then realized I don't have Prime. <laughs> so I'm just like... Should, what did you want to buy? Should have just told me. I'd have bought it for you. Uh, I was going to buy so like just some stuff for it, like hard drive, you know, like little uh, SD um, cards and that, but missed it now. Missed my trick. I'm going to have to pay 25% more. It is what it is. I think I missed out on that one. Um, so Adam, which is not true about Oprah Winfrey. She donates millions of dollars to charities. She was the first female African-American billionaire. She lost an unborn baby when only 14 years old. Or she was in a romantic relationship with Michael Jackson. It's a bit heavy. Um, I know. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting these now. I think, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> she can't be a billionaire, surely, man. She's a she... billionaire. 100% she's a billionaire now. Oh, yeah. well, thanks yeah, for yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not, but the, Like, she might be the first African-American billionaire. That that stood out to me as I in, find, like... I find, yeah, I find that hard to many believe. More before her, I would have thought. How could she be a billionaire? She's a fucking talk show host. Oh, for us all yet, mate. If she, she's a billionaire, what would you do with that amount of money? I think it's heinous that billionaires even exist. Anyway, let's not get <laughs> let's not get killer marks on this podcast. I'm going to say the billionaire thing. Uh, it's actually not true that she was in a romantic relationship with Michael Jackson. That never. So everything else is true. Else is so true. she was the first African American billionaire, so. female billionaire, just billionaire, female. Wow, mm, folks. So she wasn't in a romantic relationship with Michael Jackson. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know what's mad about Michael Jackson, right? Like, let's take away the whole, uh, you know, the, the the controversy about him. If you listen, everyone can, be, not everyone, but like everyone of my age, pretty much, can almost all sing every Michael Jackson song lyric for lyric. So embedded is it in their brain. You know, that's, that's mad. If you play any Michael Jackson song now, within reason, I'm probably going to be, a, without even really being a Michael Jackson fan. Because you think about an album's like Thriller, Dangerous and whatnot. They're, they're, they're not really albums in the, you know, a lot, most albums have weak. Could you sing songs. Smooth Criminal word for word though? Because that's a bit like. It's like not right, really. Man. All right, fucking hell. <laughs> the, the, the point <laughs> is general. <laughs> I probably could. Like, you, can't tell what, you can't that. tell what he's saying. Uh, uh, as she came in through the window was a sound of a crescendo. What's came next? into her apartment, saw the bloodstains on the carpet. <laughs> so back to the so those, those that have probably just dropped back in at that point because we to cut it all. It turns out not everybody can. <laughs> I didn't know any of them fucking words to be fair. Have you that, seen was his, weird, uh, that was a weird tangent. Have you seen his Instagram profile that someone's made for him and they've put his pronouns as he he? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's got that in it. Yeah. That was felt a nice little tangent. All right. Yeah. Um, all I've got from that is that now when we when we do the breaking bread now we need to do karaoke and we're just gonna do Michael Jackson all night. <laughs> Who was next? I can't remember. Me, is I it think Josh? he's just done the Oprah Winfrey one. Right. Which is not true about Elon Musk. Uh he has reinvented the battery, solar automobile, rocket, underground tunneling, and online payment industries. He wants what does that say? You need more comments. You need more comments. Take a breath. He has reinvented the battery. Solar, automobile, rocket, underground tunneling, and online payment industries. Yeah, he, that's all true. He once let an audible fart escape during a televised interview. He Sorry, was, if, what was that? Sorry? He farted on He an once interview. farted during an interview. Okay, yeah. He was fired from his CEO position at PayPal. Yeah. He was bullied at school for being such a dork. 
One of them's not true. One of them's not true. They could all be true, couldn't they? Yeah, I reckon uh, maybe the farting in an interview, because I think I, I did everything else. Like, because you were part of PayPal when it first started up. So that was like two, that covers two of them. <laughs> bullied for being a dog. And, and then he, and, and yeah, he, he probably did get bullied because he's a dog. Okay, so weird. Do people still say that word though? Dog? <laughs> dork. It's an American thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, the one that's not true is the audible fart escape. Ah, okay, that's the first one I've got in the last four weeks. So you've not lived until you've done an audible fart in an interview. Come on, Elon. You need to check that off your list. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got one more each for you. Uh, so Adam, which one is not true about Mark Zuckerberg? He has red green color blindness, help helping to explain the blue Facebook logo. Um, he speaks Mandarin. He's only five foot seven inches tall, or he already dyes his hair due to premature whitening. I think he dyes his hair because he didn't look five seven unless because that Israel whatever his name is is not small, is he? No, he's huge, and he didn't look that much smaller than him. Um, so unless it's photoshopped fact, oh, I'm, I can't really help you can I but. well I'm, I'm just going for it anyway I think he dyes his hair because he looks like you he think might he be. does that which one do you think is not true though so you think that's true which is not oh, true oh yeah which is yeah I totally forgot the name of the game so, there for a second <laughs> he, has, um, he has red green colour blindness he speaks Mandarin he's only 5 foot 7 or the dye in his hair um, not true I think he's not 5 foot 7 I think that's not true. I think he's tall. It's actually not true that he dyes his hair. Huh. <laughs> so he is five foot seven. So he's five foot seven. I don't you know. You call me small? Yeah, but Volkanovsky's like, I think he's like five five, so I think he's taller than that. But it must well, be five, it must be six foot. It's erroneous, that's void. Yeah, I think you've. you've fact, I'll take it, I'll take check. it. You need to win one, mate, otherwise you're done for. <laughs> otherwise, when you actually think of a forfeit. <laughs> Have you not got any of your answers right then, Adam? No, z- 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 I haven't got one oh, answer right. Joshua, I didn't yeah. even get it right when I said that I could do all the Michael Jackson lyrics. So I didn't even get my bonus <laughs> thing right. <laughs> all right, last one for Josh. Uh, which one is not true about Steve Jobs? He spent time in India and considered becoming a Buddhist monk. He met his sister Mona when he was 27 years old. He named Apple after Isaac Newton. Um, his final words before his death were, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. The, that one, I think that's true. Oh, wow, wow. I think that's not true. Yeah, I think that's not true. It's actually the one about him naming Apple after Isaac Newton. That's not yeah, true. That oh, wow thing's famously... Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, a lot of people, you know, in those... Uh, con- well, not conspiracy theories, people that uh, purport that there's an afterlife. They often quote Steve Jobs because he like, they apparently looked off in a distance and said, oh, wow, which is kind of an odd thing that says you're dying. Shit. I think I'd be like, shit, I'm dying. You know, I wouldn't say, oh, wow. But uh, he did. Who knew? Well, well you won anyway. Yeah, you won regardless, hey. but well done. So one step closer Thanks, to Thanks, Steve Jobs. Right. We've caught it back. You keep saying I'm going to bring that confetti in for when you win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we finish on a fessel? <laughs> As Why we not? always do. Why not? It's time for a fessel. Coming from you. Okay, so first one. Getting out of the shower, I proudly shouted to my partner that my cock was currently the cleanest it'll be for the next 24 hours if she wanted to have a suck on it. And she could also <laughs> dunk my arsehole if she wanted. Her son and his girlfriend had popped around for a surprise visit. I'm s- I am swear you... Did you pick that or did George? You pick the the, the most <laughs> Look, obscene I'm, I'm ones. Shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked by this. I think we need to stop this all because that's just... That's horrendous. That's the best thing you've said all... Like, I don't care if you meant it or not. If that's <laughs> you being facetious, we do need to stop it. Um... I mean, that could, that could be true, but I mean, I, I feel like... I don't think it's true or false, but, yeah, that's what I to do. but yeah, but normally I, 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 for this I, one. I believe that they are mostly fake, so I try to debunk them, but I suppose that could be true. Hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Tung my ass off. <laughs> Imagine that. Why did you put that in chat last night about getting a t-shirt? How come you, the pissy shit t-shirt? I don't know, because I thought it was just... Because the amount of times I repeated it. Yeah, because you said pissy shit, and it just it's very uh, very evocative, isn't it, in your mind? It makes you think of pissy shit, so you get, you get t-shirts to say it on. All right, last one. I was praised by my manager for being the only one in a meeting seen to be taking notes. In fact, I spent the entire time recalling all the women I've slept with since my divorce and devising a World Cup-style tournament to evaluate <laughs> which one was the best shag. Fucking hell. <laughs> To clarify, these are not our opi- these are taken from something else, right? <laughs> true, I think that's true. Uh, it could, there are people sad enough to do that, yeah, I reckon. We need to follow a vessel on th- on threads. 
It'll be on there now. I'm definitely not following Fessel anyway. Um, <laughs> least of all on threads. I think we need to get into that, that good on a, a Reddit rabbit hole. I'm sure like, yeah, that, you remember that Reddit yeah, one that you put in the other week? I think we need to, some, someone tweeted that as. Yeah, we need to find out what that. You ever seen those uh, YouTube videos where it says like, it's like a celebrity and they kind of go undercover on Reddit. So answering oh, yeah. questions yeah, yeah. about themselves on Reddit. Yeah. I, I, I'm certain that I'm not famous enough to have people talking about me on Reddit, but like if we could, if, you, if there I were one or two, that might be kind you, of fun. I don't think you know what people talk about on Reddit. I don't even know what Reddit is. Is it Reddit just like a forum, basically? Basically, yeah. No, it makes I, me sound I, old, I don't but. use it, but I think it's something like that. But, but it's still like mega popular. People are always talking to me yeah. about like, what, what's, uh, this is going to make me sound really old. What's, what's Discord? Somebody said to me the other day, you should start a Discord server. And I'm like, that's, that, I don't even understand what that means. <laughs> is that like we stream? No, I think, I think I think that's a, a little bit like a like a, a chat. You know, like you can make Discord groups. Is that where people pay to ask stuff though? No, I don't think so. I think you just people can join it, and there's like members of chats. We how old do we sound here? Uh, if anybody knows old. anything about Reddit or Discord, please let us yeah. know in the comments, so George will read it. And I mean, you're the youngest man. You need to I figure out what it is. I, I saw a tweet real quick. I saw a tweet the other day, and it was um, it, said, it was from somebody that said like it, somebody was resharing it and laughing at it. But it said that uh, it should be the case that whenever you land on somebody's social media profile, that it plays their favorite song. And somebody just commented saying, we finally reached the generation that doesn't remember MySpace. Because <laughs> obviously that used to be the thing with MySpace, you'd have your featured song yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. Full circle, isn't it? We're going, we're going, going back around. <laughs> Old man. Speaking of full circle, did you hear the um, the Fallout Boy cover of... Um, what, that you posted that yesterday? That post on Instagram, yeah. Have you heard the full song? You start the fire. They still we did that fire. Yeah, what, the yeah. Bruce Springsteen song. It won't it were Billy Joel won it. No, uh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Billy Joel. So they've done a cover of it, but yeah. like updated the lyrics to like modern news. Oh, I hope they got permission for that because that is technically considered legally a derivative work if you've been changing the lyrics. <laughs> so, uh, I know that all too well, believe me. <laughs> so uh, but no, I've never been a big Fallout Boy fan. I've not too. heard it, but it's Patrick Stump still like mega be better than the original, to be honest. Didn't you get like, you went on like some mad diet and you got like mega, mega skinny? Or am I, the Patrick Stump, the main dude from Fallout Boy. Oh, I think he did. I didn't even know. I, I always it, find it weird when they play live because the lead singer doesn't really talk to the crowd. It's the guitarist. Pete, oh, no. I thought it'd be, it's not Pete Wentz. Is that the guitarist? The bass guy. The one that looks, you know, the, the pretty boy. The pretty boy, yeah. Does he play bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bass well, to a fashion. <laughs> <laughs> not as well as Josh. No, who does? Dum, dum, dum. I, need to, I need to practice for this year's um, Breaking Bread Live that we're never going to do ever again. Yeah. And on that note, thanks for listening. Uh, always a pleasure. Pretty much a chore today. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>